Hi, and welcome to Robin Shear Photography. Today, I'm going to talk about doing an eye swap. I have two images I'm gonna work with, and we will move back and forth through Photoshop. So, with that, let's get started. Okay, so here is the image that I would like to deliver because the dogs are looking forward, the mom and dad are kissing, but the son is not looking at the aunt. So this is the other image. I'm going to use this face to put on him in this picture. So normally what you wanna do is get all your editing done in Lightroom. So we'll do a quick cleanup back here and then we will take it into Photoshop. So with a quick cleanup, I'm gonna go into 100. I'm gonna use the healing tool and I'm gonna do my best to get rid of this dog here and have it match up with the shadows. So that's not working. So I'm gonna to have to do parts of it and then parts of it. I'm gonna make the feather a little bit, uh, incorporating a little bit more. So that's working. So I'm gonna do a little bit here so for a quick cleanup, we're gonna go with that. And I'm not gonna get super specific right now. So with this one, because of the coloring of her, she was more, clothing was white. A cloning's gonna work better to clean that up. Same here. So I'm gonna grab some just nature to put there and a little bit more cleanup here. And the reason you want to clean up in Lightroom first is it does a better job if everything's done in Lightroom and then you go to Photoshop because then in Photoshop you're just doing one or two things and coming back because the colors will be a little odd if you try to do all this after you were in Photoshop. So that's a helpful hint. Make sure all your stuff is done in Lightroom first before you do the eye swap. So for some reason that's wanting to grab something that doesn't even kind of look like what I want. So I'm gonna do it a little bit at different spotting, choose something else. Now, if you grab the side, you can make that bigger. You can see how defined that circle is. So I'm gonna make the feather larger there. I'm gonna close out and go back in and grab the healing tool here and clean up this um, dog here. So I'm gonna go over probably like right about here and I kind of just want it to look like nature. So from afar, that might actually work. We'll take a look here. So it's easier to tell like how it's working out when you back up and you get out of the, you're not so tight into the picture. So again, I'm just doing a really quick and dirty cleanup. I'm not liking that at all, but I might um, leave it just for now. This was um, a little bit more tricky it was trickier than usual because um, there's not a lot to choose from in the background and that will definitely make cleaning up harder so normally at the beaches here as it gets nicer you do have more people and it's trickier to clean up so again it keeps grabbing something I don't want so I'll make a spot here then I can see where it is I'm going to grab that over here and now I can move this spot around to make it kind of blend in more how I had in mind. So I don't know if that's uh, working. Let's see. Go back out. So you can kind of see the legs of that person there. So I'm going to do a little clean up here. And that is what happened there. Okay, now we see. So let's back up. Now you can see this grabbed down here for some crazy reason. And we wanted it here to grab some shadows to blend in a little more. So if we zoom in now, it's looking a little better, but you see this line here? I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up and see if I can have that blend. So I'm gonna move that back over here into the foliage, see if I can get that to clean up a little. So that definitely looks a little bit better. You can see right here, there's a little mark and that kind of bugs me. So I'm gonna put a circle here 
I'm going to move it over and then I'm going to grab this circle that's choosing what to put there and blend it in. So here's where we started. So I'm happy with that. I will clean this little piece up. Again, I try to get it as clean as I can. And so now I can choose where I want that. There we go. So now when we go into Photoshop, most of the cleanup is done. And again, I'm not gonna fully edit this because it would take too long, um, but I feel like that's good enough to show you. Here's the very beginning. This is before I added my preset and then brought up the lighting. And I wanna, I brightened his, I smoothed his skin and then realized I wanted to change his face. So what I'd like to do here is put a little eye pop on the dogs because they are looking at the camera. And I already have a brush for that called Sharp Eyes. And you can see here what all the settings are. And I have another video talking about how you create a brush and you're more than welcome to watch that in my playlist. And that will show you how to make a brush. So, and I did see something on his pants, so I'm gonna clean that up really quick. And I think that does the job for now. So now we're gonna pull this into Photoshop. And we'll actually go to library so you can see both images. What I wanna do here, and the one I'm going to use, is I'm gonna zoom in, and I'm gonna grab a face brush. So I'm gonna do the skin smoothing that I love, and I'm just gonna clean up his face here a little bit. And you can kind of see if I go into 200, there's a little blemish there, and I'm gonna get rid of that as well. And I think that chose wisely. So I think this will be pretty easy. So his face is ready to go. So back in library, you're gonna command A, which is command all. You're gonna to go to photo, edit in, and we're gonna pull it into Photoshop. And this will take just a second or two to pull it up. And then we will talk about how to do the eye swap. In the meantime, don't forget to hit subscribe on the video so that you can be subscribed to the rest of my playlist and other videos I'm offering. So here's the face I want to cover up and change to this face that's more engaged and looking like it goes with this photo. So what I'll do here <clears throat> is I will zoom in. I will grab the lasso tool, so the lasso. I'm going to grab his face. Actually, I'm going to deselect. Let's look at the picture again. We actually need his whole head because he needs to be looking this way. So let's go back. We'll grab the lasso tool. I'm gonna grab his whole head, a little bit of greenery. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna come over here. And now I'm going to paste it. So here it is. So it's right here. Now you wanna move this around. So you're gonna go up to the move tool and then you can grab it. And now I'm going to zoom in using this right here, this button. The red box will put you, put you where you wanna go. So moving his head around, you wanna match it up as close as you can. And so you can kind of see I'm trying to match uh, his neck and his collar right here. Now, here is where we get technical. Come over here to the layer area, the layers. You're going to click on opacity. This is just for the face you copied. You're gonna bring it down, watch the screen, and you can see that now you can't see it at all hardly, and the more you bring up the opacity, you can see it. So. In doing that, it lets you use, now I clicked on the face we're using and I'm going to use the arrow buttons and I'm gonna lower it. So right now I'm matching up his ear height so that his neck is the same. So I have the ear and I'm gonna move it over and I'm gonna match it up the best that I can. So let's go to opacity. And I think we need to move it up a little bit more. 
I'm thinking the neck looks good there. So now I feel like that looks right. It's in place. So now what you're going to do is you're going to invert the layer. So now you're going to put a mask here and command I. The white completely blacks out what you copied and pasted. But now that you made, you put command I to get the white, you're going to hit the B for brush and your brackets will make it larger or smaller. So I'm B for brush. I'm going to enlarge the brush. Now over here, I'm now going to bring in, sorry, you can see the opacity was at 37. I want that full. I'm going to bring in his base here. So now we're brushing on to see the face. Now, what I don't want to see is the lines here from where I pasted. So I'm going to use the brackets and make the brush smaller, flip it to black, and I'm going to erase that. Here we go. Let's flip that to black. So I'm going to hide that so the black hides it. So I'm going to very, I think my brush is a little bit too hard, so I'm gonna bring down the hardness, come back in, and gently blend in that seam that showed where I cut and paste. So you can see his hair from the other face is coming out, so I'm gonna flip this back over to white, come back in, cover it up, flip back to black and make that brush smaller and blend that in a little bit so it just looks like the foliage. So now we're going to blend this in around his neck and you want the brush to be really small here to really blend that in and that's looking really good and so you can't even tell here. So there's a little bit of color change here that we can fix um, back in Lightroom. So I'm pretty happy with this. So what you can do is zoom out and now click on the eye here and it'll show you your change and how you blended it in. And you can see if you take a look at the foliage behind, that blended in very nice, seamlessly. His neck looks perfect. So you just have the color change from where the sun was on his face and not on his face. So you can see here, the sun not so much there and now here. So we'll go into Lightroom and we can clean that up a little bit. So from here, I'm gonna zoom out and I'm gonna flatten. I have an action to flatten. You can go into the layers here and if you right click, you can flatten here. So you can do both. So now that that is, now all the layers are flattened in one image, I'm gonna save it. That will automatically put it back into Lightroom. And then we'll just do a little touch up on his skin. So it is done saving. So we'll head back to Lightroom. And now you can see, I will move myself. You can see down at the bottom here, TIF. That means this is the image that came back from Photoshop. So now we're gonna go, here's the uh, face we took, here's the final image, almost done, and that was the face we changed. So I'm gonna zoom in here and just do a little bit of cleanup. I'm gonna grab the skin brush. So one of my skins, I'm going to grab my skin texture and that's gonna blur quite a bit. You can see the texture and clarity are down here. So I'm just gonna blur that a little bit and you can see it kind of cleans it up. And because the image is so far away, this will work. Um, you can tidy it up a little bit more by using the healing tool. So if I come in a little bit more to 300, you can see that little line right there. And if I grab my healing tool and just grab a different color it blends it in and there's a little bit there and I'm more than happy to do a little blend in there and that should do it. 
Yes. So now when we back out, beautiful. Everything's completely blended. Looks amazing. So that is how you do a face swap. Um, I did call it an eye swap, but it is a head swap in this particular instance. So don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to see the link in the description, I am selling a senior course, uh, online self-paced course, talks all about creating senior portraits, how to get genuine emotion out of them, and how to create a consistent, gorgeous gallery. So head on over to my site and grab a spot in my class. Love to see you there. And until then, take care.